welcome back. Let's talk weather. The last 24 hours, well, we've seen a little bit of a cool off. We've dropped down five degrees in Grand Junction and we've dropped down eight degrees in Montrose. Right now we're in those 80s. Yesterday we were pushing to be a little bit warmer than that in those 90s for the afternoon highs. Of course, it's the six o'clock hour, so we are on the cool down, but it'll take quite a while to get us down into those kind of cooler temperatures after sunset for sure. We're noticing temperatures are going to continue to stay above average as we wrap up the work week in those mid 80s. But the weekend, as we continue with minimal cloud coverage and sunny skies, we're going to start to see some 90s again. Now the early work week, that story is even going to shift further. We are going to start to see those low 90s, then jumping up into the mid 90s through Monday and Tuesday. So let's enjoy these 80s while they're here, because even as we look into the later work week, I hate to spoil it before I get to the seven day, but there are some possible triple digits that could be seen in our forecast for the first time this year. Our future cast does show again some pretty clear skies, at least locally through the valleys. As we wake up tomorrow, we might be seeing a tad bit of some cloud coverage. Same through Friday afternoon. Now this shower we're watching move across just around that 12 p.m. hour tomorrow. Very short lived, not likely to hit the ground at all in terms of rain showers. It's going to head on towards those high regions and as the high regions stick around and about those 60s and 70s for the afternoon high, that's where it's likely to hit the ground. We'll see some cloud coverage through Friday. However, Friday night we got that sunshine return turning clear skies as we wake up even on Saturday, then still some clouds in the high regions. The valleys though, staying in that typical, well, end of May, June type of weather with hot, dry and well, clear skies. We'll notice in our pollen forecast from the Allergy and Asthma Center of Western Colorado, things have shifted just a tad. Low tree pollen, moderate grasses, low weeds, and some low mold pollen with us. Now the afternoon highs today were 87 through Grand Junction, 81 through Montrose. The desert valleys also at 86, Moab, Monticello, a little bit cooler than yesterday. And we're seeing that that was a few degrees above those seasonal averages, typically 83 this time of year. But right now we haven't really shifted too much as we still see those mid 80s, mid 70s. Then we'll notice road temperatures are actually in those triple digits as well. I said it yesterday. I'll say it again. If you're headed out with the dog or if you're just headed out to walk the asphalt, the sidewalks, they're hot right now and outside on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. Of course, those beautiful blue skies I mentioned. We're going to continue to see that tonight. Maybe some clouds tomorrow, like I mentioned. Tonight, though, evening lows 52 through Grand Junction, 49 through Montrose. You might be able to open up those windows. Now, as the Juco game gets started tonight, we'll see maybe some breezy skies, but we're dropping off fairly quickly once that sun sets around the 830 hour, keeping down in those single digits even by the time we wake up tomorrow. Now, speaking of tomorrow, 88 through Grand Junction, Desert Valley jumping up into 90. Montrose is a few degrees behind in those low 80s. But I did mention some possible triple digit numbers. Now we'll notice that in Discovery Auto Group's seven day forecast. That could be closer to Wednesday and Thursday next week. We'll track that as we get closer and closer to those dates. This weekend though, low 90s to be seen. Bring the SPF with you, drink the water. Montrose is just a few degrees behind. Mid 80s through the weekend days before we jump up in those upper 80s. And then whew, even possibly those 90s.